Well, let's face it, there's different reasons why your sex life can fizzle. Low sex drive, demanding career, the challenge of raising a family, it can all lead to boredom in the bedroom. Well, if you want to bring back the passion in your relationship, our next guest wrote the book on it. It's Dr. Tammy Nelson. She's a sex and relationship expert, and she's here to talk about getting the sex you want, shed your inhibitions, and reach new heights of passion together. Tammy, welcome back. We had you on the show well, once before. You. Great to have you back here. And for people who are not familiar with you, you are a Ph.D., board certified sexologist that's correct so why this particular line of work for you <laughs> oh she's smiling now <laughs> <laughs> well what's more fun oh yeah hey why not yeah and it, you know what working with couples around improving their sex life brings so much um, reward almost immediately to their relationship and it really is almost an immediate gratification for me to see people really improve their relationship so quickly. This is your second book. Mm -hmm. In this particular book though, what moved you to write the book and why this particular title? Um, well, it's really based on a theory of psychotherapy called Imago Therapy, where the original book was Getting the Love You Want by Harville Hendricks. So it's a type of psychotherapy that really works, and I just took it and used some really well-proven techniques to teach people to talk about their sex life to really improve it. What's interesting is that there's such a stigma to talking about sex. Mm -hmm. It's almost like taboo. Yeah. Why don't people want to talk about it? Well, it's interesting because you actually talk the least about sex to the person you're having sex with. Really? Yeah. So we don't really talk about sex in our culture to, to the people that it matters the most. So why, let's, let's throw this out there. Mm -hmm. Then why is sex so important? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's studies that show that the people that stay together the longest and have the best relationships and are the happiest have the most rewarding sex lives. So we know that there's a connection and it's really, really important. And it brings people the most reward over the longest period of time. So we know that it keeps people connected and it keeps people intimate and it keeps people happy. Well, yeah, absolutely, and I think for both parties there, right? I mean, it is, you absolutely. know, you want to be able to give but also take at the same time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So let's throw this one out there. You can change your sex life or in a relationship, or do you have to actually change your relationship first? Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you have to do first, or is it a combination yeah. of both? Yeah, well, I think there's like this un misunderstanding in relationships that you have to have this great relationship and that your sex life will follow. But really what I found, and partly why I wrote the book, is that you really can change your sex life and your relationship will change. Ah. You know, there's this sort of misunderstanding that if you just argue about taking out the garbage and you finally figure out who's going to take out the garbage and when, and if you stop arguing about the little things in life, then you'll finally settle down and work on your sex life. But I can tell you, if you fix your sex life, you're not going to care who takes out the garbage. You're not. <laughs> see, there you go. Everybody's writing this one down. The guys in the studio are writing that down. How do you actually throw more romance and passion into a relationship? How do you know when it's time to talk to your partner? Yeah. I think it's time to talk to your partner anytime, and you should make a, a date to talk to your partner probably once a week. Really? Because, you know, it's just like anything else. If you practice, if you work on it, it gets better. It's not going to happen on its own. Just because you have a relationship or a marriage, there's an assumption that it's just going to follow, that romance and passion are just going to happen. And I can tell you that the longer you're together, the less it's going to be there. Would you say that the more passion you have and the more erotic you are in your relationship, the less likely your spouse or partner is to have an affair? Well, I don't want to blame the victim here. Okay. So we don't want to say that if you don't have sex with your partner, your partner's going to have an affair. But I can tell you that if you bring all that erotic energy into your relationship, you're less likely to want to go outside of the relationship. So then why do couples get bored? I mean, mm. you know, I think, is it just we get into the rut? Is it just, you know, having the kids, having the family, having the career, and then maybe not dating your spouse or your partner? Mm -hmm. Well, I like the way you put that, not dating your spouse or your partner, because they are boring after a while, after 20 years. We're not taught how to stay with the same person and make it exciting for 20, 30, 40 years. So how do you after 20, mm -hmm. 30, 40 years? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to really make an effort to make it exciting. Okay. You have to add adventure. You have to add newness. You have to add um, uh, erotic conversations, you have to do exercises, you have to do anything that you'd want to do if you want to improve on something. As a sexologist, though, when you're talking to couples, do you tap on that in terms of, you know, practicing exercises? Is it more than just physical contact and the actual sex itself? Yeah. Yeah, and it, it actually is almost an immediate improvement if you start talking about your okay. sex life. Talking about your sex life, just that sort of audio experience of talking about it will actually raise your erotic energy. What if someone hasn't had sex in a long time? Mm -hmm. Because I hear this. Sometimes people yeah. have been married a while. They haven't had sex 
in almost mm -hmm. a year, if not longer, mm -hmm. what is your advice to them? I mean, that yeah. cannot be healthy. Yeah. Well, it's a lot more common than you think. A lot of couples come to me that haven't had sex for many years. And really? so I tell them you have to have a date once a week, a sex date, even if it's not to have sex, but to connect on some level. Okay. To have a massage or to talk about your sex life or to hold each other or to be naked in bed together. You have to have some erotic connection okay. to begin the process of slowly getting back to what it means to you to have some kind of passion together. It doesn't matter if you get to the finish line. That's sort of irrelevant. You sure? I mean, irrelevant. You, you, you're saying irrelevant. I'm sure some people might beg to differ, though, Tammy, right? No, doctor? Well, eventually you could get there. Okay. Eventually All right, that's good. So we have a viewer question. We want to pop at least one of them up there. Coco Warren actually made a comment, and her comment is this. You know, your bodies may bring you together, but your brains mm -hmm. will keep you together. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? Well, we're the only, you know, all mammals have sex. All mammals are sexual. But we're the only mammal as humans that eroticize sexuality because we have an imagination. Mm. We use fantasy to make it hot. So she's absolutely right that you have to be in your head and connect on a different level than just your bodies. But it does take both. And so, you know, you have to be emotionally connected to have good sex. But sometimes you can have good sex, and that brings you that emotional connection. Ah, oh, such great information. Mm -hmm. We love it when you hear Dr. Tammy. Listen, everybody, if you're watching right now, the book, again, is called Getting the Sex You Want. Shed your inhibitions and reach new heights of passion together. And I like that word, together. Thank you so very much. We appreciate Thank you being you. here, Dr. Tammy. Love Thank it. you so much. And if you miss it, everybody, come to our website, WTNH.com. Click on Connecticut Style. And if they want to get in touch with you, what's your website again? DrTammyNelson.com. Perfect. Well said.